Hello there, I hope you're having a great day and welcome to my video on beating the corrupted monk in Sekiro. She's quite a tricky boss until you realise what to do. Now, initially I thought, oh yeah, break her posture like you do with most bosses. But I found it difficult to do, even after sort of weakening her a bit, getting her health down, which normally allows you to then sort of build up her posture bar. She was normally breaking my posture before I could break hers. So yeah, that was a bit tricky. And I had some snap beads. Now they're handy to use to damage her. You can use up to three of them, I think, on her. So I used my snap beads and then I lost the battle. So <laughs> I ran out of snap beads. <laughs> but I do use firecrackers. So they are effective. And some uh, fistfuls of ash as well, if you've got any. So what I realized was this is more of a traditional fight, like, like I was kind of use a sort of Dark Souls technique. So basically I'll get in a few hits, two or three, and then get out of there. Now the arena isn't big, but you can keep your distance quite easily. So yeah, just wait until she finishes her attacks and then try and dart in. Now she's got some unblockable moves, she's got an unblockable sweep and thrust attack. They're quite tricky to read though. So again, probably just getting out of the way is the best idea. Okay, she's, yeah, she does that sort of chop move and then you can just get behind her. So I like to keep off the steps. I found it a bit tricky on the steps. Keep on the flat as you can. And you can keep your distance. She doesn't move too fast. Okay, Miracle counter that. She did a thrust there. But again... You don't even really need to do the Mercury counters, just sort of just keep out of her way. And when she finishes her attack, just get in a few chops. So just you know, hang back, watch what her move sets are. And she does a she pushes you away quite a lot with that last sweep. Okay, get out of there. So yeah, it's not really about breaking her posture, it's more about just chipping away at her health. You just have to be patient with this one. There you go, Mercury counter. But again, if you can't read that, just get out of there. You see the... Uh, I just dodged that one. So you can do the dodge as well. But she can really brute force off through your defense. And she can really... Like, really hit you hard and... Build up your posture bar quite quickly. If you're not, if you're not careful, she can break your posture very easily. Now I've taken off about 25% of her health, so I should be able to build up some posture damage on her, but what you find is by the time you break her posture, you've nearly depleted her health anyway, so you might as well just go for destroying the health bar. Again, I'm just keeping my distance. Get. Oh, <laughs> I got a bit greedy there. But yeah, you can get in two or three hits. If you're quick, you get in there quick, you can get in three. But if you don't if you don't get in there quick enough, just get a couple of hits in. And then just keep your distance. Just be patient. Just watch your health bar. Now, you see I'm sort of spa spamming the parry there. Spamming the guard. To deflect her attacks. But because I'm backing off, her posture drops back down again, so I'm not too worried about that. As long as you don't take too much damage, that's the main thing. But her sweeps are quite slow, so you can time your guard and get deflects quite easily. Now I'm using the firecrackers. And what I tend to do is get behind her and get in three hits and then jump away. Okay, so wait to, for her to finish her attack. Firecracker, get in three hits and get out of there. Let's get around the back. One, two, three, get out. <laughs> it's quite a fun fight, this one can be frustrating though. You can soon run out of health. Okay, so I've used my firecrackers. So now I'm going to switch to the... Oh, I need a bit of health. But I'm going to switch to the ash now. 
And basically you can do the same thing with the Ash, you can just stun Stunner. I was a bit worried there. <laughs> so Stunner, one, two, three. Out and out. Oof, oof, she nearly got me there. So hopefully you've got some Ash. If you haven't, then you're just going to have to just keep your distance and get a few attacks in. But before you use all your Ash up, I would definitely just get used to a move set. So do a, a few sort of test runs first. See what her attack patterns are. She can so easily catch you off guard with one of those sweeps. You can jump over the sweep attacks. See that last uh, attack there really knocks you back a long way. Which is frustrating. Okay, I don't want to be on the steps. Get away from the steps. Get away from me! <laughs> ah. Here she comes. And that downward chop is quite easy to read, so you can use that as a good opening. And actually, when she jumps towards you, you can sort of get behind her quite easily. Although I don't tend to do that here. She comes. I'm a bit wary when she finishes her attack. If you go in too early, sometimes she just does an upward thrust that's really hard to sort of defend against. Okay, got one Ash left. Got no firecrackers. Oh, she's tantalizingly close. This is where you can get a bit sloppy, get a bit greedy, and, and lose the fight. So I was, uh, <laughs> I was getting a bit anxious at this point. Now, I don't know why I use this sugar here. I don't know. I mean, I think the, I, I was thinking to myself, this sugar basically allows you to take less posture damage. So I think I was thinking about maybe worried that my posture might get broken if I try and press the attack. But I'm not really pushing, pressing the attack. <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> Ooh. Keep away from me! <laughs> she comes. Okay. See, her posture, you can get her posture up quite high quite easily now. Because she's got low health. So I could have gone to break her posture. But her health is so low that I think I, I bottled it. <laughs> I'm just going to go in for that cheeky, cheeky few hits and back away again. I'm like, come on, she must be dead now, come on. And I got, I got too greedy, and I thought to myself, I thought that was it. I thought, I know, and then I realised, oh no, I haven't used my resurrect. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd used my resurrect actually for some reason. I was like, I should have lost the fight. I'm like, no. But yeah, hopefully you can beat her that way as well. Just, yeah, just be patient and jump away. Don't forget to use a memory to upgrade your attack power. And now you get the ability there, that just flashed up, you get the ability to go underwater. So now you can revisit all the places where there was pools of water and rivers and and just go and explore. And there's loads of goodies to find underwater. So I love games like that where you get a new ability and you can go back to old areas and explore places you couldn't explore before. So yeah, definitely go and do that. And uh, yeah, good luck with Sekiro. I hope you're enjoying it. It's a beautiful game. Great bosses, really enjoying it. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye for now.